What I'd like to do in this video is to take a look at a couple of examples of graphs. So the key thing that you should remember from the last video is that a graph G is an ordered pair where we have the vertices of the graph and we have the edges of the graph. And sometimes we write just V and just E to denote the vertices and the edges. So these ones are vertices and these ones are edges. And a little piece of notation that we'll use is if I have an edge, U, V, which belongs to my edge set, what I'm going to do is instead of writing U, comma, V with these brackets, I'm just going to denote that by U, V, just so that we can have a little bit less clutter. So here is my first example. My vertex set is V1, V2, V3, V4, and V5. And my edge set is the edge V1, V2, V2, V3, V3, V4, V4, V1, and V1, V5. Remember that if I have an edge UV, it doesn't matter if I write it as UV or VU. That's the same thing. Let's see if we can figure out what the graph would look like. Now remember, it doesn't matter how you draw the graph in space, but let's just do some sort of a representation of this graph. So I'm going to draw First of all, five dots. One, two, three, four, five. The reason I've drawn five dots is because I know there are five vertices. And let me put their labels on them. So this one could be V1, V2, V3, V4, and V5. So time to go with the edges. I'll use a different color for the edges to keep things uh, colorful here. So let's use pink for the edges. What we're going to do is take a look at the first edge. It has to go between V1 and V2, so we just draw it in like that. The next one has to go between V2 and V3, the next one between V3 and V4, then between V4 and V1, and remember I could have written that as V1, V4, it would be the same. And finally, we have one between V1 and V5. So this is our example. And remember, it doesn't matter that I drew these dots in this particular way. I could have put V5 all the way over on this side of the page and I would have just had to draw my pink line way off to this side. But for convenience, we often draw the vertices fairly close together and in a way that sort of looks aesthetically pleasing. So one thing to keep in mind is that if we have an edge, we really are talking about two pieces of information. One piece is this end and the other piece is this end. This edge from V2 to V3 has two ends, and they are V2 and V3. So if you have an edge, which maybe we'll say E is an edge UV, then U and V are both called ends of that edge. And if we have the edge UV, then we know that U and V are connected by this edge, so we say that U and V are adjacent. And these are often called neighbors. So now you know that if I say that an edge has two ends, that's what I mean, and if I talk about two vertices which are adjacent, I mean that they are connected via an edge. We also have the concept of an edge being adjacent to another edge. Let me draw here in blue this edge which goes from V2 to V3, and in red, let me draw V3 and V4, we can see that these two edges, V2 to V3, V3 and V4, have a common end. So if a edge and another edge have a common end, then those edges are adjacent. So we can use the word adjacent also in terms of edges being adjacent. So this was a fairly straightforward example. Let's take a look at one more example. My vertex set is A, B, and C, and my edge set is just the single edge A, B. Let's take a look at this graph. We're going to draw three vertices, one, two, and three. We're going to label them A, B, and C. Remember, it doesn't really matter what you pick for labels. They could be one, two, and three, or V1, V2, V3, or some sort of labeling. And we only have one edge. It's the edge that goes from A to B. 
So C is left all alone here without any neighbors, it's not adjacent to anything. So this particular example is an example of a disconnected graph. We'll talk more about disconnected graphs and connected graphs in future videos. But for now, hopefully you have the gist and you can understand how to go between this notation of a vertex set and an edge set and this picture of a graph drawn on the page. See you next time.